Hello everyone, my name is Christian and I am the CTF noob. In this video we are going to have a look at the 4th Narnia challenge from Over the Wire. This is a quick and fun one in which we use a buffer overflow to get a password for the next stage. As always I am no security professional, hence the CTF noob. But I am interested in the topic and try to share what I learned so far. So let's get started with Narnia 3. As always, after logging in, we inspect the challenge files and see the elf executable as well as the source file from which it was compiled. We open the source file and try to understand what the program does. The program starts by defining a couple of variables. Then in line 32, the if clause checks whether a parameter was provided and if not, prints out how to use the program in line 33 and exits with exit code minus 1 in line 34. The comment in line 37 tells us that files will be opened. Good to know. In line 38, the first argument to the program is copied into the character array i file that was declared in line 29. Then in line 39, o file, which was declared in line 28 as def null, is opened and the file descriptor is stored in OFD. If that fails, an error message is printed to the console and the program exits with the exit code minus 1. The same thing happens for i file in line 33. As the comment in line 48 states, the com contents of the in file are first read and then written to the out file. Afterwards, a message is printed to the console that states from where to where the file contents were copied. Finally, the two file descriptors are closed and the program exits with exit code 1. Let's experiment a little bit with the program. Since we know the program is given the file from which to read and then writes to its, its contents to def null, we can try to use the program as intended. We start Narnia 3 with itself. And as expected, the program prints to the console copied contents of Narnia 3 to a safer place. Just to make sure that we can also read the password file of Narnia 4, we try it with Narnia 4. And again we see that everything worked as expected, but it doesn't help us if the password file is copied to def null. We need a way to redirect the output to somewhere we can read it. We know that the program copies the contents from one file to another, but how can we exploit this? The call to string copy in line 38 does not check the length of the string to copy and uses the first argument to the program directly as input. This is where we can start. What happens if we enter a long string here? If we look in line 29, we can see that i file will overflow into o file if we enter more than 32 characters. This is exactly what we want to do. If we can make it happen that i file points to the password file of Narnia 4 and o file points to a file that we can read afterwards, we should be able to read the password of Narnia 4. Now, how can we achieve this? In line 39, o file is opened. That means that the file with the file name in o file until the next null byte is opened. In line 33, the same thing happens to iFile. But iFile will be as long as the bytes in iFile and ofile combined if we overflow iFile. So we must create a string for iFile that ends with ofile but is still a valid file to open. We know that on the challenge server we can write to the temp directory. So we can write to say slash temp slash out. This must be ofile. So we have to end iFile with slash temp slash out. But before that, we need 32 characters to overflow iFile. So we begin iFile with slash temp, followed by a directory of filler characters, and in the end comes slash temp slash out, and that's it. OFile will be slash temp slash out, and iFile will be this whole thing here. Now let's do this in a shell. First I define a name for the iFile temp directory. Then I create the directory. Now I create a symlink from iFile to the Narnia 4 password file. Then I create O file and give it all the rights so it can be written to. Now it's time to run Narnia 3 with the iFile parameter that overflows into O file. The output looks good, so let's read our out file. And there is the password for Narnia 4. This was a really short challenge, but the hiding of O file in iFile was quite a nice thing to get your head around. I hope you found this video interesting and could learn a little bit. If you liked the video, please give it a like, and if you want to see me solving more CTF and Wargame challenges, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and until next time.